Shall I start? Yeah, man, yeah, man. Don't you? <laughs> all right. Well, first of all, I want to thank Keishwell. He's been a great master. He's uh, the only mentor I've ever had and really helped me excel with his mindset. And I just, you know, took that on and kind of made my own strategy and really, and really got funded. I back tested my own strategy numerous times, numerous strategies, and I finally found one that works for me. I manage my risk correctly and I have the right mindset and I was able to profit. So I got confident enough to uh, take a challenge. I passed the challenge with quite a lot of ease. I did it pretty easily. And in a month from now, I want to be buying more challenges so that I can trade the total of 600K, making 100K to 50K on a regular month, which is quite a lot of money. And that's kind of my goal for, for the next few months. All right, all right, all right. How long have you been trading? Uh, been trading four years, but profitable six months. Well, what is this um, challenge you're talking about? My Forex funds. They're a prop firm that they allow challenges. <clears throat> like if I pay them, let's say $300, they give me a $50,000 account. I have to pass two challenges. If I can pass them, then I will get funded with their money and I can trade that money to make money for myself you know, you would get 80% profit and they keep 20% for providing you the cash flow. Nice, 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 nice. I know it's a, drop a, drop a one in the chat if anybody else here have taken any prop form challenges. Or just, you know, if anybody else take any prop form challenges inside here, just let us know, yeah. But yeah, so um, yeah, MG, Dante, Josh. So I just kind of wanted to have you know a quick meeting because right for the last few days, um, I've been kind of I kind of get trading at risk for one. Um, but about to start back next week, right? Um. Basically, anybody who wanted to take a prop trading challenge, probably um, funding talent. I don't know if I'll see what's going on with funding talent, but funding talent is basically a, a prop trading firm that I was working with that recently went down, right? So whenever you want to get involved in trading prop firms money, you definitely had to do your own research, your own due diligence and pick the right company to work with, right? So for example, Sebastian picked the right company to work with, which was my Forex funds. They legit, they will pay them out. My experience with funding talent, I made, last summer I made a hundred grand for them. They have, they found some excuse. They didn't pay me out a hundred grand. And um, just recently, I made a couple thousand with them again, but the company kind of shut down right now because the, the, the securities in um, the US and in Canada, um, the regulators basically shutting them down, right? And it was kind of like a fucked up company to begin with, you know? They always used to change the rules and fuck with people, right? So with that said, um, everybody in this, in this chat, their, their main goal is obviously to make it in trading, right? And the quickest way to make it in trading right now is to have um, work with a prop firm, right? Compared to you depositing a thousand dollars in your account, you could literally, instead of, you know, like within six months, how much you think you would, you could flip a thousand dollars to within six months, right? Best case scenario, let's say you make ten thousand dollars profit with a thousand dollars in six months, right? That would be no way compared to if you were to get a funded account. A funded account could cost you between six hundred, around six between six seven hundred dollars for a hundred thousand dollars, right? You pay six seven hundred dollars for a hundred thousand dollars, and and basically, once you pass the challenges, you have access to massive capital. So in Sebastian's case, he paid three hundred dollars, and he got access to three hundred thousand dollars, right? 
So it took him a month to get the, I mean, he got access to $50,000, my bad. So it took him a month to um, pass the, the, the requirements to get access to $50,000, right? And now, you know, within the next month, he'll be making $8,000. You get me? So he, with a $300 investment, literally making $8,000 because, you know, he already acquired the skills, obviously to uh, pass the challenges and it was fairly easy. You know what I'm saying? He just trades the same strategy, the same time, the same day, two trades a day, right? Two trades a day, one, two, two to three hours a day. Um, and, and it's all about consistency, right? So with that, you know, the topic I, I wanted to, to basically address today is um, for one, consistency for two, the time of day you trade in, right? And, and three is like the, basically is like a trading routine. Cause you need a, you really need a solid routine. You need a solid dependent on anybody else, right? When it comes to trading, right? So really and truly like, I don't even have to give you a solid, because everybody's different, you know? Everybody in different time zones, everybody like different styles of trading, right? And just, just for um, perspective, I want to um, Sebastian, because Sebastian is the only person inside here that I know have a strict routine that he follows, right? So Sebastian, what is your um, trading routine? you know, and, you know, everybody else just kind of pay attention to see, you know, if you can, you can learn anything from, from someone else's experience. So what is your trading routine? Uh, all right. Well, my trading routine routine is quite simple. I, I simply like to trade from 8 a.m. CST time to 10 a.m. CST time. It's two hours. It's at the New York open. There's a lot of volume in that time. I trade pound yen. Pound yen is a very volatile pair. If you were to look at the pairs in, in Forex, I would say it's one of the most volatile pairs out there and it has low spreads. After that, you know, gold is also very volatile in US 30. But I'm very comfortable with pound and yen. So I, I really trade that pair. And I, first of all, I want you to get confidence in trading something. So you have to back test. I back tested this pair for nine months in the same two hours, took two trades, and I was able to make consistent results every single month. And then I live tested that for a month and I thought, let's see, can I make in a month enough profit? And I realized that I could. So when I did that, I just started trading actually, you know, with a challenge and I just trade two hours a day. When I get in the market, I look at the news first to see if there's any news, like if there's any 9 a.m. news or 7 and 30 a.m. news, <clears throat> I want to be aware of that because I don't want to be trading when that news comes out because the spread is going to be very high and I don't want to be in the market with those market conditions. I'd rather wait a little bit and then trade after that, you know, big volume comes in. And um, so, yeah, I just watch the news. I make sure that there isn't any news or if there is news, I make sure to be cautious about it. I go ahead and read my trading strategy so that I just look at all the rules and make sure that I follow it. And then I simply start the day drawing my trend line, waiting for breakouts and entering the trade flawlessly every single time. No mistakes are allowed. If you can do that, you will get the same results that you got in your back test, which is going to, you know, give you the same results that you were looking for. And that, that's all I do. It's, I keep it quite simple. After I take my two trades, even if it's 9 a.m. and I have one hour left, I get away from the computer. I'm done. I go to the beach. I go run. I do whatever I want. I'm done. You take your two trades and you're done. And you can just go. So just, you just look for two, two single trades. That's it. That's it. I don't, I don't care if they're winners or losers. I have... They shouldn't affect you at all. Like I, I couldn't care less if it wins or it loses. I, I really don't care because I know that at the end of the month, if I continue to do it, it's going to give me profit. I couldn't care less about the result on day to day. Okay. Okay. So it's only, so if you don't, so are there days when you don't find the two trades? Uh, yes. When there is consolidation, I have a hard time finding trades because I'm waiting for a breakout of the consolidation and it just doesn't happen then that day I don't trade. If there's a bank holiday, I don't trade. And that's the only two reasons really. Most of the times, almost every single day I get two trades. 
very few days I get one trade and almost never I get no trade. All right, so I mean, you could see and the reason why, right? I mean, I know all of this already. I just kind of highlighted it so everybody else can hear, right? And the reason why um, you, you don't care about if you win or lose today is because you, you back tested over uh, uh, why? Why? Why you don't care? If you win or lose today. Because, because of the back testing, I already back tested. And I like, there's two things that you need to understand about a strategy. First, you need to back test it. Second, you need to be able to execute it flawlessly. It needs to be, it can be simple, complicated, however you want, but whatever it is, it needs to be executed flawlessly, meaning there cannot be any mistake from your part. You as a trader, you have a job and that's my job. My job is to execute it flawlessly. If I can do that, I know that I'll get the same results. So that's why I really don't care about the day-to-day -day results. I know that at the end of the month or every two weeks, I will be in profit. And that's what keeps me happy. Okay, because back you back test through a couple hundred trades, you know, and you have um, your win rate and your stock bar. When you say execute flawlessly, you mean that um, mechanically, you know, like once you see the setup, you don't think about it. You just you just take it once the once the the criteria is met, right? Exactly. Once the, once the criteria is met for the strategy. I simply take it. I don't even think about it. As soon as the candle closes where I wanted to close, I take the trade no matter what. And I take the trade with the same lot size and I put the same stop loss and the same take profit. Consistency is key. I don't ever take out my trade. I let it get out on stop loss or profit. There's only, the only other change is that when it goes 28 pips in profit, for example, at 30 pips is my take profit. When it goes 28 pips in profit, I put my stops at break even. So that if it comes all the way back down, I would go out and break even. Or if before the market closes, right now the market's closing at my time, 4 p.m. If at 4.50 it hasn't closed on its own, I will close it manually. And that's it. Those are the only changes. But you just let it run. You don't touch it. You don't mess with it. Because that's what I did in my back testing. And if I can do the same thing on, on my live account, I know that I will get the same results. All right. So do you... Um... Could you show us the account that you used to pass the challenges? Did, did I what? You, you have access to the account you used to pass the challenges now that you could trust? Uh, I'm on my phone, but I will try. Let me see. I mean, if you're on your phone, even better, you can just share your screen. All right. Uh, let's see. How do I share my screen? Oh, I see. I see. I found it. Oh, no, it doesn't allow me. It says only you can do it. Yeah, I had a... Um... Okay. Try to do it now. Yeah, I can do it now. Let's see. All right, we're in Zoom, right? Yeah. All right, let's see. Okay, um, can, I sh can you guys see my screen? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So this is my phase two, which I already passed. And I'm trading right now with 0 0.01 so that I can pass the, I had to pass the minimum five day trading rule that they have. I passed it in three days, but I had to trade another two days just to pass it. So as you can see, there's a 2.5K I made. In these two, the, the second two trades that I took, this one and this one, I had to close out early. This one, because the, the market closed at 3.30 and it, and it wouldn't take my profit. So I had to close it manually. And then here, I'm sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Right, so as you can see, my only trade that I actually went to a one to three is the first trade. Mm -hmm. The second trade, I had to take it out because the market was gonna close. And my rule is if the market's gonna close and my profit isn't taken out or my stop loss, I take it out manually. And then the next trade, I took it out at $600 in profit because that was my 5%, I had already reached it. So there's no point in continued running, which yeah. by the way, if, if I would have continued to, to let it run, it would have made 1.5K. But I don't care because I'm only trying to pass the challenge, right? And then let me see if I can show you guys phase two. Sorry, phase one. This is phase one. 
See, it just, just remind us of the rules to pass that um, challenge, right? So you need to make you need to make eight percent. You can't lose twelve percent, and you cannot lose five percent in one day. So each one of my trades, as you can see, I'm very very exact on the money. It's eight hundred four hundred and eighty two dollars minus sixteen dollars. It's almost five hundred dollars. So each one of my trades has a risk of one percent. Mm -hmm. each and every trade. So as you can see, I started off the challenge, the first two trades, losses, the next two trades, wins. So I'm already up 4%. Then we had a couple of losses, losses. This win made up for all those. This win made up for all those. And then here I started making profit again. I'm up, I'm up another 6%. Had a losing streak, made profit again, two losses. That one I had to close out manually because the market didn't take it out. And that last trade, that last trade took me out at eight percent and i had to trade one more day and yeah. that's it there nice. you go just scroll along a bit right so i just want everybody to kind of pay attention to how strict his his rules are right how strict his risk management is right even after a losing streak he still sticks to the same risk management right you, you realize that the, the losses are all the same right one percent one percent one percent right because he knows you know based on his back testing based on his risk to reward yeah he could have a um a three or four trade losing streak but you know once that winning trade comes you make up for the losses right and in addition to that you know it, it takes a lot of discipline to only take two trades a day right all these trades these trades are two two trades a day so if he loses twice a day, come back the next day. Lose twice again, come back the next day, right? You win one, make up for the losses. Um, and that is, that, is, that is just, you know, incredible to be able to just see how you... Um... And yeah, Cashwell knows this. When I, when I started with Cashwell, when he was my master back in the day, when I started, I would take like, there was even a day where I took like 15 trades in one day. And I would win like four trades and I would be super happy. I'm like, all right, I'm on a good streak and I would keep trading. And guess what? On the next 13 trades, I ended up losing more than I had made. You see that? Yeah. So your risk management is very, very important. Like if you don't manage your risk, like the first thing is mindset. You have to understand that it's only an edge and the, win and the winners and losers come in a random result. You don't know how they're going to come. You just know they're going to come. Mm -hmm. Second thing is your risk management. You need to keep your capital. You cannot be over risking all the time. And then the last thing is, you know, you need to have an edge, your trading strategy to follow it. Yeah, essentially, right? Um, but that's good. That's good. So, I mean, and, and once you get to your live account, right, you're just going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to do the exact same thing. Exactly. Like this was the best month, like September, if I would have traded on a live account, I would have made 28%, 28.3 mm -hmm. to be exact. 28.3% of a $50,000 account is around $16,000. Mm -hmm. Your profit share for the first month is 75. So that would be $13,000 or $12,000 in one month. And for a $300 tiny deposit, which actually they refund you as well with your, with your payout. So you essentially invested $300 and in two months' time, one month to pass the challenge, one month of trading, you get paid $12,000. Does that not sound good? I mean, that is, that is only if you, you actually know how to fucking trade. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I guess. That's after you know you get rid of your bad habits. After well, right. you get bad habits. You We're know? getting paid for our knowledge of knowledge of trading. If you don't know how to trade, then forget it. Don't even try it. Don't try it until you're good enough to do it yourself in, in, in your own demo account. If you can do it in a demo account consistently for a month, then go ahead and risk. Because I learned that the hard way. I've, I've lost three and a half years trading real money because I wanted to make money fast. And I didn't. I always lost because I over risk. I would trade 10% per trade and I would lose five trades and I would be minus 50%. And then I wouldn't even manage my risk correctly. I wouldn't even uh follow my strategy because i was already desperate yep yep 
So I mean, shit. I, I even myself, I was taking notes, right? Um, let me see. You can stop sharing your screen now if you want. All right, there you go. I didn't. I didn't know how to stop. Yeah, 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 for sure. So, I mean, just some highlights to take from this shot for thirty minutes. For one, you want to master the skill, and everybody know kind of knows how to master the skill here. But mastering the skill is only the first part. You see, a lot of people know how to trade, but then they don't actually even make money trading because they don't have the capital to trade. You know, so once you master the skill, you know that a small investment could get you a funded account, right? So in Sebastian's case, Sebastian is in Peru. You know what I'm saying? And the amount of hard work he had to put in to make money, like if he, had, if he was out in the streets, like working a job in Peru, it, it's not going to make near as much as, you know, how much he's about to make, um, trading you know and and obviously it took it took hard work you know he had to do the challenge for a month he had to practice for months you know what i'm saying but know that he he has fifty thousand dollars to use to trade because he was able to pass the requirements and minimum went from making you know average to probably the top one percent in peru i would say because nobody making eight, eight grand us like that in peru you know unless you have a big a big no, over here the regular salary is four hundred dollars. The average person makes four hundred dollars. A rich person here makes like two thousand dollars, which is like eight grand Peru. Yeah. So me making twelve thousand is like sixty thousand soles, and that's a lot of money here. Yeah, use a rich man. I, I can buy a house for that. Exactly right. So yeah. Hey, congratulations, bro. I, I, man, I just wanted to shout out. Like, congratulations. That's a big deal, man. Good job, Sebastian. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, man. Trust me. Trust me. Everybody had to tell you that. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I feel like the main takeaway is just be strict. When, when you want to have your strategy done, you're strict to your back testing. Be strict with that time. That you basically a trade on routine. You know what I'm saying? You had to make a routine and just follow it every day. You know, it's just, it's just a routine, a routine and a plan. I'm sure, I'm sure you have everything written down step by step, right? Yeah, of course. It's written down in the strategy step by step on exactly what I'm supposed to do, exactly how to do it. And you can't cheat, right? On your back testing, you don't cheat. You're, you're honest with yourself, which is something that I used to not do as well. Be honest with yourself in your back testing. And also be honest with yourself on your live trading. Don't take a setup that isn't valid. Why would you? Yeah, basically, you know what I'm saying? So back test, you can back test two ways. Back test on trading view and back test on your demo account. All right. Um, I mean, that's really that's really all I had. And if anybody have any questions, just go ahead, you know. I'll take notes. I want to encourage you guys to join my Forex funds or a company like FTMO. These are very known prop firms and they are very legit prop firms on like funding talent, which they seem legit. But in these last couple of months out of nowhere, I've seen a bunch of rule changes and then, you know, the payout problems. Like case film are more than a hundred grand and they wouldn't pay it out. That is not okay. So that's when I just crossed them and I said, no, uh, funding talent is a no-go for me. I'm going to go with any other prop firm out there. So you just have to, like like Keshwal said, do your due diligence before you choose a prop firm. Look at YouTube reviews. There are a bunch of YouTube reviews of good prop firms. Try that out and uh, then make a decision. For sure, man. For sure, for sure. All right, so I'll lock it off here. And hmm, from next week, I'll try to do live trading sessions. Maybe we could do a, a session where um, we could actually see Sebastian trade, you know, during that two hour window. He'll, he'll probably execute on a trade. And, you know, we actually see it live, the same trade he takes every day. Uh, it's, a fucking, it's a simple strategy. I'm sure 
um anybody could it's too simple bro it's not even funny it's so simple i like i'm based on simplicity it's so simple you draw a trend line and then you wait for a break on the five minute time frame if the candle breaks above your nearest support or resistance you enter the trade you don't you don't think about it you just enter oh but sure it looks like a downtrend i don't care it's set to buy so i buy it's very simple like i, I want to thank hwell too because now i have four students since my forex funds have been kind of promoting me i got four students and i'm teaching them the simplicity and they always ask me questions like but why are you taking a buy the the, the overall trend is down mm -hmm. but i'm catching a 30 pip move it's only a little part it's only a little part of the of the of the market 30 yeah. pips on pound yen can be a little retracement and i made a lot of money in that little retracement and then it just goes back down to a downtrend but i don't care i made my money mm -hmm. that that's what you need to focus on all right so you know next week we will put it on a fucking calendar and you know we will see and i think by that time you should have your live account right yeah i should be getting it on on friday meaning tomorrow like at 4 p.m or i will get on on monday morning but either way i'll be ready for monday for sure to to trade the live account so that's gonna be pretty awesome all right all right, all right. All right, so we will lock it off now and you know anybody could just hit mob um after this right so thanks for sharing thanks for sharing with us bro. of course of course again big shout out to Keshwell as well he really taught me the mindset and really introduced me to prop firms i didn't want to do it i was very skeptical about it and then look at me now so that's thanks to Keshwell and you know the mindset that he provides which is pretty cool it just you know that things things are possible trading is possible we just focus and you know you really do it most people don't really focus they really don't you know they see it as a side hustle thing but it can make you a lot of money if you really focus even if you were trading your own live account yes with a thousand dollars you would have to compound for like i don't know two years and then you would be making good money and that we don't even have to do that anymore there are prop firms that allow you to make money in only two months instead of two years of your thousand dollars compounding over and over again so big shout out to that that's very good all right all right, I'll hit you up after this. Everybody have a good night. Um, I'm going to keep you guys updated, right? Peace. All right, good night, guys. Take care.